Namaste. But whenever I am not physically well, I am not able to realize the harmony. And at that time, even my self is biased towards my body, taking care of it. And even uh, I follow in the trap of observing illogical things that watching TV for many hours, uh, watching mobile for many hours, how to overcome this thing when you are not well. Okay, I mean, let's look at this observation, you know, that you have made. The uh, core issue is that when the body is not comfortable or not well, and I am getting some sensation from the body, which are not desirable sensations, right? then I react to that sensation. And in the process, I become unhappy. I lose my harmony. I am unhappy within and uncomfortable within. When the body is in good health and I am not getting those sensations, okay, I can manage myself. That is what you are saying, right? Yes, 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 my dear. Yes. So this means that I am still dependent on the body and the sensation from the body for my happiness, for my harmony. So my Harmony and happiness is not born out of my understanding, out of my feeling and thought, which is based on my understanding. So what is happening is that when I am getting favorable feeling from the body, it is fine. I am not disturbed. And then I can manage myself. But whenever there is a sensation from the body, which is not desirable, then I am unhappy. And when I'm unhappy, I'm in contradiction within, I'm not able to manage myself. And when I'm not able to manage myself, I want to divert my attention. I want to take my attention to those things which will create sensation in the body, which are favorable. So I start watching a TV, right? This TV is giving me a set of sensations which are desirable and I am diverting my attention from the undesirable sensation from the body which is generated due to ill health. So this new set of sensation which I am getting through the TV. So you got into the trap because you were dependent on the sensation outside. And now in order to avoid that, you are getting into new traps. Isn't it? Right. This is what is happening. And this will continue to happen unless you work out your source of happiness as something which is within you, which is in terms of right understanding and in terms of right feeling and right thought. At least you are able to ensure this right feeling and right thought, which will ensure happiness for you without being dependent on the external source either in terms of sensation or in terms of feeling from the other. So that is the crux. That is where you have to work. And that is what we are trying to say, in fact. In fact, if you look at the essence of what we are trying to say, it is essentially this, that we want continuous source of happiness. 
And this source of happiness cannot be from outside. It can only be from within. And it is already there. It is already there. Only thing is that we were not paying attention. Right? And therefore, we are dependent on the source of happiness outside, which can never be continuous. Right, right, Bhaiya. <coughs> I will work on it. Thank you. Yeah, if you look at this chart, it's a very interesting chart, you know. Yeah. It is talking about almost all these things, you know, which are important. So it says that I want to live, and that's not enough. I want to live with continuous happiness. This need for continuity is not there for the body. The need of continuity is there for the self. And because self is, has identified itself with the body, to the extent that it thinks that it is the self, you know, the, it is the body, and therefore it is desiring for continuity from the body, which is not going to take place, which is not going to happen. <laughs> so this continuity is my problem, and I have to handle it. And if I start handling it myself, I see that I am anyway continuing. But uh, that uh, vicious circle that I am getting into it, that again spoils the body. Uh, that I was able to see, but how to come out it? And then now I, yeah, I got the clarity. Thank you so much, Bhaiya. Yes. In fact, this fear of death, you know, this death fear is in the self or is in the body? Uh, but now it is <laughs> with the body only, we are attached to the body. So that is why it is so The strong. self is afraid. The self is afraid. Afraid of this possibility that body will die. Really, correct. <clears throat> Death is going to take place in the body. And self is afraid because self considers that I am the body. Yeah. <clears throat> but by one clarity, the thing is when I am well, completely well, then my right understanding and the clarity is so clear, I am able to carry out. But whenever the body is not well, at the time, this sort of negativity uh, takes strong. That means I, my awareness is not that strong. I am not still clear about uh, myself. Still, there is some area to be worked on. It yes. seems true. 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 In fact, you know, it's interesting. You will see when you start working on yourself, certain things are sorted out immediately. And that gives a lot of relief. But then those things which are not sorted out, they start showing themselves. Right? So you have to look at them, observe them, you know, and by observation see the reality, and that is how you can resolve them. So it will be an ongoing process, very interesting process. <laughs> very interesting, but it is a lengthy process. <laughs> Thank it you. Is? A lengthy, lengthy process. Means yeah, yeah. But we have all the time. What is the problem? Yeah, yeah. Very correct. Yes. Very correct. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the guidance. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>